I'm at ASH 2019 in Orlando in Florida and uh, I'd like to highlight some of the new data for BTK inhibitors in patients with lymphoma. So there, there was quite a lot of uh, new information presented about, about the use of brut and tyrosine kinase inhibitors in uh, lymphoma. Um, uh, we presented data on a new compound called TG1701, which is a, uh, a selective uh, orally uh, administered uh, BTK inhibitor in uh, patients with relapsed and refractory B-cell malignancies. So in this study, we looked at um, the TG1701, which was given once a day. It's an, uh, it's an oral uh, covalent irreversible BTK inhibitor in patients with relapsed um, B-cell malignancies. Um, we found that the agent was well tolerated when given as a single, uh, when given as a single drug, with responses seen at uh, most dose levels and uh, a current uh, escalation dose of 400 milligrams. The, um, the drug did appear to be uh, quite well tolerated with a safety profile uh, comparable to other second generation BTK inhibitors like acalabrutinib and xanabrutinib. Um, we did not see any cases of atrial fibrillation and bleeding and bruising was minimal. Uh, there were also minimal off-target activity uh, against uh, enzymes like EGFR. We didn't see much rash and we certainly didn't see much in the way of um, uh, infection on this trial. Probably the more interesting thing about this study was where we combined this drug with uh, other molecules, um, umbrilisib, which is a um, PI3 kinase delta and casein-1 uh, epsilon inhibitor, um, in addition to an anti-CD20 monoclonal antibody, ublituximab. In this combination, we saw enhanced efficacy, particularly among patients with follicular lymphoma, where uh, a number of complete responses were seen at relatively low dose levels. The second highlight I'd like to, uh, second abstract that I would like to highlight is a, uh, a really interesting um, new BTK inhibitor called LOXO305. Uh, this drug um, is a reversible non-covalent BTK inhibitor and the data was pre presented by Anthony Mato um, from Memorial Sloan Kettering. Um, this was a phase one dose escalation study of um, LOXO305 in patients with relapsed and refractory CLL and B-cell malignancies. Um, and the data presented was mostly patients with chronic lymphocytic leukemia, although a number of patients with um, B-cell lymphoma, such as mantle cell lymphoma, were also included. In Dr. Mado's presentation, the, um, the, the patients with CLL were virtually all um, refractory to ibrutinib and or venetoclax, so this was a high-risk um, population of patients uh, for whom uh, there are currently limited options. And LOXO305 resulted in an objective response rate in this phase one dose escalation trial of 77%, which is really, I think, very encouraging. In addition to that, um, three, of five pa three of six patients with um, relapsed mantle cell lymphoma, again, all previously exposed to BTK inhibitors, uh, achieved um, objective responses, um, which is um, highly encouraging for this uh, difficult to treat population. And the other interesting thing about LOXO305 is that it has a favorable safety profile with, again, few of the off-target um, uh, kinase um, uh, problems seen with other um, first generation BTK inhibitors, um, minimal bleeding, minimal bruising um, and no cases of atrial fibrillation so far in um, a number of patients treated.